Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. Um, I appreciate you guys stopping by. If you haven't subscribed and you like this video, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Maybe leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. We are doing a Dutch pour today. This is the first video that I have created in my new studio space. So I'm super excited and grateful to have such an awesome space to create in. And not only do I get to create in it, my kids get to create in it as well. They were in the studio with me yesterday. They were drawing and I was mixing paint and we we're rocking out to some tunes. So that was fun. But yes, hopefully the lighting is a bit better. I am going to get some more lights, but I think it's a lot better than what it was in my previous videos. So happy days. So we're doing a Dutch pour. As you can see here, I'm just spreading out my base layer and I am using the American Flood Flow Troll. Um, and that's Amsterdam Titanium White mixed with the Flood Flow Troll and water for consistency. I'll go over the colors with you now. Um, this is Amsterdam Turquoise Green. And then the next color we have is, it's actually a pigment. Um, and that's this little piggy pigment called ball gown. And that's an interference gold. So it's going to look white. Uh, when the light hits it, it'll shift to gold. You can see that in the close up at the end. Very cool effect. Love the interference. And that is... I guess what we'll call a naked piggy. There's no tube paints or anything in that. <clears throat> Just the water and gel mix, which in you can see how I um, prepare my pigments for Dutch pour in some of my previous uploads, Dutch pour uploads. I'll link them below in the description box so you can just click on it. That is Amsterdam Prussian Blue. And then we have this little pigment this little piggy pigment galaxy, which is like a dark charcoal. And we have a boom gel stain. Willy Wagtail Black, it's called. And that is mixed with the Floetrol in water. I'm going to give that another bash. And it seemed to work um, really well. It, the painting is drying perfectly today. So happy days. And this is Baby Bliss Hair Dryer. It's a travel hair dryer. It's 1200 watt. The cheapest one I could find with um, like an air diffuser attachment. Definitely want one of those. I think it was like $14.99. So save the designer ones for your hair, not your paintings. <laughs> Um, after I blew this out, I wasn't too happy, so I did go in and fine-tune just blowing with my mouth to soften up the petals and widen it out a bit. And then I do add <laughs> a corner blowout, and I'm not sure, still not sure how I feel about it, which usually happens, but you guys let me know what you think. I didn't scrape it. It's drying perfectly today. So if you like it, this painting is for sale and you can drop me an email or send me a message on my art page in Facebook. Um, but all that info is in the description box just under this video. So yeah, I'm just trying to soften up those edges and pull a bit more color into that bottom corner there or that from here top corner top right corner I love the colors um, definitely check out the close-up at the end you can really see the difference between that um, galaxy pigment and the willy wagtail black 
the matte black gives a cool effect so you have your matte black and then you have some galaxy like shimmery charcoal going through it really cool love it What else? Um, I do have my Bollywood piece is for sale as well. If some of you have seen my last upload where I did the switcheroo with um, a few of the other YouTube ar fluid artists, that was so much fun. It was a mixed media piece and it was the theme was Bollywood. You can check it out in my previous upload. Yes, it was my previous upload upload yeah um anyway that piece is for sale it is bling and if you like bling that's the piece for you <laughs> um okay so you'll see here that i add this corner i part of me feels like i should have added it to the other side to keep the kind of movement going but we'll see you guys let me know what you think and when i blow it out you're gonna be like whoa way too much black but then i fine-tune it with you know, just blowing with my mouth and getting some of that color to pop through and soften up the edges, obviously. Um, yeah, loving the color scheme here. And I'm definitely going to actually do um, a bloom using these exact colors. Okay, and then yeah, we have two close-ups at the end one just lights on and then one with lights on but I turn my flash on my camera so you can see What the interference gold does and the galaxy and all the shimmer and the stunningness that is coming from the pigments today I did do a test um, test piece with this with these colors and I laid the black down first and kind of went up from there so pretty much did the same order but just reversed it and I wasn't really too hot on it so I just switched them around reversed the order and now I'm loving it the um that turquoise green by Amsterdam like really pops so we're just scraping the sides or underneath the canvas for the, you know, get the drips off so it doesn't pull your painting down. And then here we go for the close-up. Um, I will definitely say goodbye now because I will get kicked off here or cut off here in a minute. And I hate do getting cut off before I've said goodbye. So thank you so much, you guys, for joining me today. Please subscribe if you haven't. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I will be doing showing you guys like exactly how I mix when I sit down to mix for the Dutch pour. I'll show you from just everything I do. And if you guys like the way I mix and want to have a go, you can. And here's another close up. Now this has the flash on. You can see that gold just popping, popping. Stunning and then the galaxy as well Love it um, And then when that interference gold kind of sits with the turquoise green It some of in some areas of the painting. It's kind of gives it like a mint Mint green Love it Anyway guys, thanks so much for joining me and until next time. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye